Hey y'all, don't touch that mouse or that screen phone. You're watching Spread Those Wings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Spread those wings in a special little. Okay, I'm done talking. Gary, do you want to tell us what we're doing? Because I'm done talking. A uh, little recap episode. Um, last few episodes we put out were at Wing Fest, um, all the wings we tried and whatnot. Now we're just going to do a little recap um, and just kind of talk about what's going on with the show and things we got coming up. As you may have noticed, the last you know couple months, uh, the show's looked a little different, so figured we would uh, update a little of what, you're, what you can expect going forward. Uh, we've got a first time official appearance on the show by Ruby. She did. Did we put her on camera for she, the... She was. Her first wing was on the last episode. So uh, her first chicken wing was on the last episode. She might be the youngest. I don't think... I think Lil was a little older. When we I think Lil would have been... It was right for Lil's first birthday. So yeah. Technically you are the youngest baby to have a wing on the show. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So Wing Fest is coming on. Another year. You're just enthralled. You don't want daddy to talk. Okay. Um... Started off pretty hot. We got to go out golfing with mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Kyle Kruger of Chicken Nippin, yeah. uh, George Chigger, um, Caddy Franco. That was fun. That was fun. He, he was not... Our buddy Franco, if you remember him from the show, he is not somebody who's meant to be up early. <laughs> no. It didn't go well for him. I think he was hungover. I think he might have been. It sounds right. Um, but he was not flying well. Um... Good time though. Got out, shot a shot a good good round at uh, Concord Crest. Um, Wing Fest started. I will say, if I do have one complaint about Wing Fest, it was really cool this time uh, not being behind the booth. But I think it was. I didn't like that it was the whole concourse. I felt like it took forever to get from one side to the other. I, that wasn't great. But what I was gonna say is, I think being in the contest itself, the lack of organization was tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know it's tough to get everything put together, so like it's it's not on any one person. And I know one thing gets delayed, so does everything. But our guy, me being in the um, the flying goose sriracha hot wing contest was expected to go off at three thirty, and I think it didn't go off until almost five. Maybe. It was supposed to go off at four. It didn't go off till five thirty. Mm -hmm. So I was an hour and a half behind on that. I, I, I know, uh, and I did end up winning third place in that. Um, they switched it up. It was uh, fast, first three to finish 25 wings. Mm -hmm. And man, I went in hoping I could do uh, five minutes a wing, or five wings a minute. And I did almost that. Um, and the dude Alex from Rhode Island did 25 wings in three minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. And that is just. I mean, you were hanging in there. If you didn't drink as much water, you might have won. That was your downfall. I packed too much chicken at a time in and I could not force that dry ass chicken to swallow yeah. was my biggest concern um, but like I kept saying I had hoped to train and time got away from me so yeah. next year I guess I know what I need to go in with hey, you, know uh, what you're, you know what you're expecting I think next year honestly the real method is go in with dry wings go in and try like the like super dry wings maybe just play or get a bunch of like plain, plain wings, wings that are going to be super dry and have to force those down mm -hmm. because the, the the temperature didn't hurt me it wasn't super spicy one of those contests but i can't like I you can't. don't speed eat no i can't you longevity eat mm -hmm. i can speed if eat, it was eat 50 wings in an hour <laughs> you fun. would beat me all day in that um but yeah so i mean five minutes and 40 seconds not bad for 25 wings but yeah Definitely, you know, what sucks is the guy who plays first on Sunday's contest mm -hmm. did it in about the same time that I finished in third with on Saturday. Yeah. So, like... And he was the one... I think he was the same guy who... No, it wasn't... Wasn't that guy? That dude finished second on Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. He he didn't win it either time. Um, And that was the dude who came in ready to roll. He was like, yeah, I killed it last year. Um, So, yeah, I mean, they, those guys came out to play... Uh, we got to go see Mason and Cami Clune. Uh, Mason Lebowski, Cami Clune play at the Wing Fest. I will say it was kind of cool having three separate stages for music. Yeah, that was kind of nice. If you didn't like what one person was playing, you can go to another. Uh, but Mason and Cami played a really nice variety of everything. Yeah, they're very talented. Um, I will tell you, 
as much as we would have loved to get more content on the air, mm -hmm. obviously there's there's never you can't film every wing every wing you do on the weekend. No, and there's some things that come up. You still we are still spectators of the festival, so th we want to kind of enjoy the festival ourselves as well. I mean, even beyond that, some of these late runs, um, day one, I think it was like. I, I was trying to just get a couple wings out, and some of these places are just like, "Here, you gave you gave us one, have five. and I'm like, "Uh." -huh. Or the like the fact of how busy some of the like you want to go to try Wing Army, you can't get the. Wing I Army. still have never been to Wings Army no. in three years of or four years of doing too wing hard fest. to get into. Try to try the wings. It, you'll wait an hour and a half for a wing. So it's funny the Wings Army. I'm not trying to poo poo on them, but I'm going to poo poo on them. They got this big to do this year about they have the longest line in Wing Fest history. Yeah, they have the longest line because they're only fit to serve one person at a time. Um, if they could, like, like Double Dubs and Center Street and Archers set up to have five people serving at any given time. Yeah. And their lines are 15, 20 deep at five people. So cool, yeah. They had a line of 70 people. But it's but one you wing every... 70 person for one for one line. Cool. If I have five lines of 20, I've got 100 people line in line at, at Double Dubs. Like, yeah. like, the math ain't mathin'. Um, and I just, I, maybe it's just because I've never had it, but it's a place that, you know, they bring scantily clad women, and yeah. that's kind they, of their allure. It's the sex sells appeal is what they try to do. Um, I do feel bad. I didn't realize until after we did not have a single wing from Center Street. Technically, not have a single wing on the ca on camera. I ate twenty five wings from Center Street on camera because the sauce for the Goose Island contest was from Matt, um, and it was actually really flavorful. It wasn't super spicy, um, but like Matt Major and the Center Street crew, dude, they crushed it this year. And sometimes it's like. Like, Sunday was really fucking busy. Yeah. So it was hard to... Well, it's because it rained Saturday. Yeah. Or it was heavy overcast. I think everybody, per, everybody just showed up Sunday instead. Yeah. So it's sometimes when there's so many people, it's hard to get your bearings in the crowd. So it's like, oh, do we do Center Street yet? That kind of thing. It, it was. I don't think I went to... I think we went to Blind Rhino maybe once. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got the Cajun Lemon Pepper. Um, we talked about Archers a lot in the air. And Archer's is really good. Um, I didn't do the triple X again this year because that hurt me last year. I'm not even going to really touch an anchor bar. Um, you had it on air, and it, it was, was not good. Archer's um, is always gets a high pass. Carolina but, Alehouse for you was kind of a miss. Dude, but, Carolina Alehouse was weird. Like, the first day, they weren't bad. And I don't know if he got pissed off the second day. The amount of, of spices in that wing... My mouth was legit. That was spicier, but it was like a severe dry rub. And like, but beyond being spicy, it was. I, I, there's no way I can say this without not sounding mean. It was grotesquely salty, mm -hmm. and like, it didn't taste nice. No. It was like to be fair, his whole stick was like my wings are shitty. Come try my shitty wing, and like he did, he just kept calling his wings shitty wings, and that's why I think he won like newcomer award. Maybe? I think he won newcomer, and it's like people thought he was funny, and like they, they would go try it, but like man, they did not blow me away. Um, I, I we for once actually did do Buffalo Wild Wings. I think I got those wings for you. Might have got some for Megan. I know I got some for Heather. I got her the salt and vinegar, maybe. Yeah, I don't remember what I did. I don't know if I did that on air, though. Um, we definitely didn't do anything of theirs on air. Center Street, like, their PBJ, great. I think we both did their Golden Barbecue, right? Center Street? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know I did their PBJ, which was phenomenal. The PBJ was great. Um, they had the Figgy Stardust. Was the weirdest wing I've ever had, but it was really good. I can't even explain what it was. It was almost like there was Rice Krispie on top of it. But it was like a fig-based sauce. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what a fig tastes like. But I would eat that wing again. Um, their maple bacon jalapeno was delicious. Their creamy pesto wing was phenomenal. Yeah, I, I think my girlfriend had that and she liked it. I didn't sign up to die this year. Mm -hmm. I did not do the slaughterfish. 
I thought about doing Cotton Candy Nightmare, but I'm just Cotton like, Candy Nightmare has her. Uh, well, so Cotton, that is file that in the missed opportunities bin. Mm. Kyle Kruger and I were supposed to have a dinner, um, a, a, a piece that we were going to do for the show called Dinner of Nightmares, mm -hmm. and we were both going to do five Cotton Candy Nightmares in a row. <laughs> and the time just kind of got away from us, and by the time I got a hold of him, it was, it was late Sunday, and he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, and that would have been probably the dumbest thing I would have done on the weekend, because, like, I know how much that would have hurt. Um, Danny's is have always... Have done Danny's on the show? We did. We did Danny's Airport. We okay. never did Danny's South, but I think it's the same exact menu. Um, I actually want to go there. I would go there and hang out. Their, their maple fire wing is phenomenal. Um, their tailgater's also really good. I think I have that one, yeah. Their tailgater's like a Cajun, kind of. It's like a Cajun mix. And for a... They bring peanut butter pie, and oh... We did review the peanut butter it's pie. It's so good. Um, and then I used the rest of the tickets to get Heather's soup at the very end of the day. Um, obviously, Double Dubs, we can't talk anymore about them. I think I ate every t everything they offered. You know what's crazy, too, is they're, one of their underrated wings is the World War Three hot. Because I it's just no, it. everybody kind of bypasses it for the crazy stuff. But like their regular, their World War Three hot's really good. The screaming chicken was pretty solid. I, I don't know if I had that one. Yeah, you did. I got it for you. I think you might have done it on the air too. What was the flavor? It wasn't as spicy as they made it sound okay. like. So it was like a hotter one. It was hotter. Um, the spicy blue is still the OG. I think yeah, that is like becoming the staple of Wing Fest. Um. The, you know, for being a newcomer, Holy City Public kind of blew us away. Yeah. They weren't bad. The and Cherry we, Hot was good. Cherry Hot was good. And didn't we do the Chiodi also? Yeah, that one was good as well. Wasn't Chiodi like a meatball sauce? I think so. It was pretty, or I didn't do the Chiodi. I got that for Heather and she really enjoyed it. I know I did it. I think you did. That's I also right. did the Burn Your Ass. And it, that we wasn't, all did the BYA. That wasn't crazy. It, was it wasn't super before. hot. It was really tasty. Just winging it. I didn't do a whole bunch of other stuff again this year. I know we did the French toast on... They're another one that's tough to get because they have a long line. And it's I think it's a long line because they have so many crazy flavors, yeah. but like they're not bad. Um, that French toast is actually one of the best dessert wings I've ever had. I did do their butter garlic. How okay. was it? Because I tried to get that and they were out when I went out. I, it was okay. I was expecting like a honey butter, or like the barbells take on it, and it, was, it wasn't the same. I um, think I... Also did the Sticky Icky, which is the Buffalo Honey Mustard. That's not bad. Millie's, we talk up everything Millie's does, and that's for good reason. I didn't get to have their Blackberry Brandy this year. I think I had it night one. I think it was one of the first wings I had of the of the year. Um, I think I did their Cajun Rum Butter. Not just cakes. Um, we actually did go there. Oh, their cannolis. And they had the, uh, they actually had a strawberry cheesecake waffle cone. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty good. Awesome. It was almost like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the cheesecake was a different consistency. It's almost like it was in a can and they just sprayed it. Listen, in. I was on board with it because that was after I ate those those mm -hmm. gnarly-ass wings from, from... I'm glad I waited till like, day two to eat the desserts because yes. I was just like, I need something other than salt. Um, pizza cutters. Yeah. We gotta give them kind of a bump if here. If I'm ever in that area, I'm definitely gonna go there. Um, the whiskey apple bourbon was really, really different. It actually had apple chunks on it, but I really like that wing. Not listed on here because they, they only yeah. brought it late. It was not planned either. If you notice, they wrote it on the list too. Was the Sriracha Q swing? That one was phenomenal, dude. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Dad, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Um, I was hit or miss on if I really was going to like pizza cutters because mm -hmm. uh, a friend of the show, Thomas mm -hmm. Cummings from Syracuse, who works with us. I had already said he's like they're they're known as gimmicky mm -hmm. and they aren't always great in person at cooking their wings. Hmm. But the flavors were bomb. And they have the Danos everything wing, and I'm not a huge fan of Danos. Neither am I. But whatever other seasonings they blended with that wing, it was like a whole different ballgame. I missed Steelbound, like completely. I don't know how I kept missing them. I don't know if it was that the line was always crazy. Um we did try Popeyes though. We did actually do Popeyes. Um, I think I did their ghost pepper. You did the ghost pepper. I did the roasted gar parm, and it wasn't bad actually. Yeah, it was okay. Um, Nothing to write home about. Like for fried chicken, I'm kind of bummed I missed the steel bound just because it, they had a spicy lemon pickle wing. 
I see lemon. Did I do that one? I did a hot dill. The hot dill was um, Old Union. I don't think I had Steelbound either. I don't. I don't remember seeing them. Like I don't. Even, I can't even picture where they were at the content at the festival. Um, Dirty Buffalo. I don't really remember being there this much either this year. And we liked them a lot last year, but that line was also impossible to get to. Oh, so I'm 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 thinking of their Cajun honey butter wings, um, to barbells and instead of um, the other place from Iceland. Um, they weren't close. No, they weren't close. It was a different take on it, but I didn't. You did it. like their little bad blue blue cue, cue though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. My girlfriend liked it too. Um, Seventy eight fave was just a regular medium. Not bad though, right? Yeah, it was okay. I don't think I had the Loganberry. We had, we had in the past and it was good, and we also like Buffalo Soldier, but like I did not get there at all this year. When I tried to go Sunday, every time I walked past, it was balls deep at that line. Mm. So that's the problem. It's like sometimes. Like, we try to look for shorter lines, but, like, if you're waiting in line, we're, like, wasting time. Especially from getting content. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have contests and other things that day you're trying to get to. Um, Old Union, they stayed super sweet, or super simple. Uh, I don't think we did Super Burn, and I kind of wish I would have. With how spicy spicy the hot dill was, I kind of wish we would have done Super Burn. The hot dill was good. The hot dill was wonderful, and their, their Carolina Gold's really good, too. Uh, didn't touch Wegmans, didn't touch Wings Army, Wing Army. I didn't think, I don't think we did Wing, or, I did have all Wing It on this year. I think I got Wings of Prey. And the problem is, I don't really remember it, so that should kind of tell you all you need to know about the place. Like, Sriracha Brown Sugar. Wing It on. I don't remember... I know I tried them. Off it was uh, it actually might have been the sriracha brown sugar dry rum. I, might I did just... one of the two, and like the fact that I don't really recall it, kind of is all you need to know about it. Like they, I think they I were great, and what kind of damaged them is they were right next to double dubs. Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna have great traffic when you're that close to dubs. Um, but on a super cool note, Trenton Dubs first time ever festival favorite of the year, three straight years. Yeah. Yeah, you agree? Good things about them. Oh, dude, Trent, Zeke, Dallas, um, do the kids. I would love to go out to Wyoming just to go yes. live. Yes, yes. Go travel out and get out there for them. Um, I, shit, I mean, you and I have been talking about it, and that's something we're going to try to start making happen. I'd like to get down, get out to Millie's in Ohio, and I'd like to get yeah. to Center Street in PA. Mm-hmm. Make it a small little day trip and do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, next year we know now that we've got amateur contests around the corner we can do. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I try to get in the amateur on Saturday and then the hot wing on Sunday or vice versa. Mm-hmm. Try to do one each day, see if I can walk out with a couple trophies. That'd be cool. We've got a little wing monster that's already starting. <laughs> I think we did up. I think we upset her belly a little last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gave her tacos, and I think it might have been oh, a little no. too spicy for her. A little too spicy for you, Rubes. Yeah. Uh, but going forward, uh, we can officially state that Ryan is... may pop on here and there as a guest, but is officially done as a full-time host. Um, so... With, there are no plans of replacing him. It is going to be myself and Gary going forward, just to the, just the two of us. Mm-hmm. Just the two of us. Um... We've been through this enough. It just, it seems right. You might have some reoccurring guests that come on more often yeah. than others. You know, your Francos, your Gavins. Um, I'd love to see Jess Payne back more. Um, but, yeah, it's it's going to be Gary and I. We're going to start working to get really good content. I'm really, really excited to start working to bring back more guests. Yeah. And hopefully some good travel spots. It's a little bit more opened up so we can change up the way we do it now. Mm. Um, different nights, different perspectives. But, uh, yeah. Gary, anything else you got that you want to really add on to what um, kind of the new yeah, missions? Yeah, going with uh, kind of this, a, a new, I kind of call it, like after Wingfest, it's like a, we start to, A new season. Like a new season almost. Um, with that, we we're also talking about kind of re-imaging. Yeah. Not like naming ourselves something else, but we're going to get some more hey. different logos for us. Um, yes, the logo is definitely in the process. 
A uh, friend of the show, Gavin Glass, had said he wants to help us with that a little while ago. He did uh, just have a beautiful wedding, so I know he had a lot going on at the time. Um, but hopefully we'll get working on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, just another... We're going to keep chugging along. So yeah, um, definitely we're going to get some new stuff out. Uh, new, new, new logo. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a change up. I mean, Tiki Tribe's taking a constant of evolution that we have. Evolution is um, a new But taste <laughs> So, uh, you know, we're just, just kind of excited. Oh, no. Am I on his shoulders? <laughs> um, we're just excited for, for where it's going to go. Um, that, that list of wings, you know, for the fact that you think after 239 episodes it's going to be diminished... We still have like 200 something on that list that are mm -hmm. untouched, and that's just in Buffalo. And you know what? I kind of wish I wish there was more festivals, but like local festivals where it's like, um, that like the local restaurants kind of have their wings. Not yeah, like a wing fest, but like like a convention. Yeah, because like I mean, what you're describing is Taste of Buffalo, and they don't yeah. take wings. I know. I, I think I when I used to go to Taste of Buffalo all the time, one place I ever took wings and they were mm -hmm. dog shit. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to really push a higher wing fest here, but it would be so grossly just not received well. I know. I um, wish we would. I wish some of our places like don't get me wrong. I love the places that come, um, but I just wish there was more of a local representation because then you get a lot of people from out of town that come and they're the wings aren't cooked well. Obviously, because they're mass produced, um, so you could get a lot of people who shit talk. Oh, this is Buffalo. You know what I mean? I wish we get a little bit more yeah. local representation. Um, and like, here's the thing: we understand that it's tough. Like, you have to mass produce it. It's the best way when you have a crowd that big coming through. Um, but it is. It, it, it's it's exactly that. It's a tough. It's a tough logistics thing to pull off. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I guess, where it's a nice thing that they have the wing trail. Yeah. Like, follow the wing trail, get all that. Um, I would, I wish they would update that a little bit more. Yeah. Add some stuff, take away some stuff. Not everything deserves to be on that. Um, I mean, though, we have some other we have some other big names that are just starting to pop up on the list. Uh, shout out to the Buffalo Wing Coalition. Because uh, I actually, one of the guys who's in, now that my daughter's not here, uh, one of the guys that was in the Flying Goose contest was actually one of the Buffalo okay. Coalition guys. Uh, and him and I were talking, I'm like, honestly, man, I'm like, I'd be lying if I told you that I don't use your stuff constantly. I'm mm -hmm. like, you guys update your pyramid all the time, and we use that so much. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, there's uh, there's a new place just opened recently, Gary. You and I were talking about it. I think it's 290 Slide. I keep hearing good things about them. They're right over on the corner from us. Mm -hmm. They're actually right by your brother's house. Um, the, I mean, the the list constantly grows. There's a place I think I was telling you about, uh, Shal Shalobi Loofer Brewing, hmm. and they have sixty nine wing sixty nine cent wing Wednesday, and they're okay. all about wizard themed stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Um, have we done the garage? No, and I apparently keep, I keep hearing really good things. Apparently, about they've got this crazy raving review going on. Um, I've seen it blow up on TikTok. Yes. And the thing of it is, so what always stalled us, the one time you and I tried to do it, we got drunk at a Sabres game, we were coming back, and they tried were to go closed, and close, yeah. which made no sense. They were closed on a Friday night early. And I said that to somebody, like, what do you mean they closed on a Friday night at Hurdle? I'm like, exactly. <laughs> Funny story. And then we go across the street to uh, Jim's Steakout. On the sign it says... With buffalo wings here. We go inside to try to order buffalo wings. I'm like, hey, wings. can we get some wings? Like, we don't have any. I'm like, you, your sign says wings. I'm like, no, we don't have like, wings. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, it's right on the fucking wall there. But the one of the other nights that we've gotten really comfortable recording on Mondays, they're closed. Mm. So, like, I've been trying to pound down the door to do the garage forever. Yeah, I want to. Um, so that's something we got to really Jason zero sent it to me. So I wonder if we can get Jason on, my brother. Probably. I'm sure he's Jones and get back. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, the fact that we golf as much as we do now, mm -hmm. a lot of these golf places have wings. Yeah. Can do golf, we can do wings on the golf course. Mm -hmm. Get them at the turn and go out and do wings on, on 10, 11, and 12 at the tee box. 
Um, Potter's Field is a big place now that's out there. We still have to do Hamlin's on Main. That's the rival now to um, to East Aurora, to, right? to Barbell. Um, I, f- shit. We still have not gotten on with Gavin to do ponies. I know. And I know Gavin wants to get on for ponies, so that still has to be arranged. Um, I'm sure I will get a video sent to me uh, from Gavin of him watching this on the TV. You're calling me out. <laughs> um, I do love that. I get those all the time. Now Gavin sends it. He's, he watches this pretty religiously now. Um, but, like, the it doesn't end. Um, there's a place. This one actually makes me excited. And they do 75 cent wing Wednesday or 75 cent wing Mondays. They're out near our work. Maybe we have to go after work one of these days. It's yeah. in East Aurora, uh, Riley Street Station. Okay. A cherry jalapeno wing. Ooh. And that sounds like it fucking slaps. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, these places are constantly popping up. Everybody's starting to get the real tip of what to do with these wings. Um, I'll tell you this. This is what I'm not getting about Garage being as popular as it is. They've got very basic flavors. Hmm. Hot, medium, they, mild, barbecue, gar parm, sweet and video. spicy, and Sicilian. <laughs> They've got big wings. They're, they're called jumbo I wings. I think they're also, they look like um, wing nuts wings, but a little bit different. Speaking of, um, one of our other coworkers. Over here. One of our other coworkers actually reached out to me. Like, look at those. Those look kind. Those are fine. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like the I like the aesthetic. Aesthetic, yeah. You can eat outside. Um, one of our other coworkers, Brett, actually came to me. And goes, hey, you still do the, do the wing thing, right? I'm like, sure do. He goes, uh, Eden at seafood. I'm like, hmm. yeah. He goes, I don't think you can do flavors. He goes, but their wings are like fried chicken quality, large. Mm-hmm. He's like, they're fucking huge. I'm like, hmm. I'd add them to the list. So. We always like getting that. Um, yeah, I love those little different ones. We love getting that. We're going to be very really excited to start getting more and more guests on um, expanding the options again, man. It's time to get back to our roots. time to really start growing this. Um, Wing Fest is cool because it's a nice change of pace. It's cool to get to see all of our friends and get to do that type of shit. Um, it was nice to not feel like I was going in debt this year from doing Wing Fest. Um, but yeah, I think that's the best way to start growing the podcast is really getting back mm-hmm. out to getting guests on and get this shit shared well. Uh, Gary, you got anything else you want to say before we close it up? Um, yeah, just enjoyed the last year, starting a new season now. Um, enjoyed the, the show with Ryan. He brought some different perspective to the show a ton of different perspective and a lot of value like we, we have things we've changed this day from yeah i mean not well i'll put this out there there's no like back back room f- argument kind of thing that's he's yeah know. it's it's not like i mean it was kind of very public with like yeah. jack um yeah. what had gone down like there was a lot of heat with jack like ryan had stuff in his personal life and mm-hmm. it was just one of the situations like hey man it's been a little while like do we have a any way we're leaning and that was the kind of decision. It's almost... I don't want to link it to the Buffalo Sabres and Danny Breer, but it's kind of like that. Yeah. Like the fan favorite kind of had to go. It's kind of like what worked for both sides. Right. Like nobody really wanted it. We just couldn't afford him. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't cool. afford his contract. <laughs> but no, um, Kyle and I are going to continue to put in the work and excited to see what the next few months or years come absolutely man uh shout out to our sponsors that we got um jeanette at the beauty parlor mm-hmm. kyle over at chicken dipping uh i wish i had it in grabbing distance but i don't uh he's got a wonderful um new lanyard edition yeah. out um nikki touch ta- 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 two scoops I think he's taking. Did he take a break off already? Is he taking another one? Something like that. Um, I ha- I don't know. What it does, Joe? Uh, he did have the Bandits Trophy in house recently. Mm-hmm. Um, Angel Wing Sauce A W S. Everything on Tiki Tribe TV production. I know we just took a, a one week hiatus from uh, one episode hiatus from uh, Unhinged and Untethered. Uh, September was crazy for a lot of us. 
we're really firing up a spooky season. Going to get some cool episodes out next year. Uh, we're really getting back in the swing of shit. We should have... Um, there's a draft in here out very, very soon to get those returns. Uh, but I think that'll do it, Gary. Until next time, you keep on spreading those wings. We're going to spread your legs. Peace out. Potentially. Can you lose it?